going through a bit of a style shift at the moment and as a result I've been going through my closet and kind of reorganizing everything and decluttering and then I've also been doing the same thing over on Pinterest and kind of reevaluating my inspiration and making sure that I'm gathering things that are still feeling relevant and throughout all of this it's occurred to me that I still love that polished look I love when things look very put together and cohesive or expensive and chic but in doing this I've also learned that there are certain things that I no longer like and there are other ways to kind of achieve this aesthetic that are more relevant for right now so I want to share those with you today these are really easy ways you can look expensive or chic even on a budget and they come down to styling that you can easily do within your own wardrobe so let's get started so my first tip to look expensive or chic even on a budget is to match your top to your jacket and I love this because it's so relevant for any time of the year and especially right now when it's a little bit chilly you can take a sweater and a blazer or a sweater and a jacket and if you keep those within the same tone it looks so polished every single time so one way that I've been doing this in my own wardrobe is I've gone into my closet and I've pulled out all the blazers that I'm liking in this kind of lighter shade and then the sweaters that match and I've just experimented and seen what I like and I've been able to put together some combinations that I'm really excited about another way that you can easily look chic or put together and expensive even on a budget comes down to your styling of your tops and this involves kind of pushing up the sleeves and then adding jewelry and this is something that I've been loving for as long as I can remember and it feels so relevant right now because stacked jewelry is bigger than ever and so what's really great is you can take maybe a sweater or a button down like I have today roll up your sleeves or just shove them up if it's a sweater and kind of push them around this area so like between your wrist and your elbow it creates a really beautiful shape and then that allows your jewelry to really become the focal point another really easy way to look expensive even on a budget is to rely on these two outfit formulas that you probably already have in your closet and look great every single time not only are they really classic so they stand the test of time but you can really personalize and customize them to suit you and work with what you already have in order to create this base so the first is a great sweater and a pair of jeans and what I love about this is you can add tall boots or ankle boots or ballet flats um, you can definitely transition this into the spring as well and much like I mentioned earlier you can throw on that matching jacket and everything's going to be put together so quickly and so beautifully and then the next outfit combination that works every single time is a button down and a pair of pants or a pair of jeans or you can even switch it up and go for a skirt or a pair of shorts and this is again really versatile it's a great foundational combination because you can wear it most of the year and if you maybe go for like a poplin shirt like I have right now that works for this time of the year it also transitions really beautifully into the spring as well but then you could also swap this for something that's more linen based and make it feel a little bit more flowy in its overall styling but still keep that same combination and it's going to be beautiful all year long so if you're really feeling stuck and no matter what you do you think your outfits just aren't hitting that sophisticated chic mark and they're kind of just lacking a little something one of the easiest ways to upgrade that and make it feel instantly more expensive or sophisticated and put together is to swap your jeans for a pair of tailored pants and specifically here in order to keep them feeling very current go for something with a higher waist and a little bit of a slouchier fit but make sure that you're customizing this to you because I know personally I've had kind of a hard time finding the perfect silhouette that I love to give me this effect because so many of them are really loose throughout the thigh and then also all the way down to the ground so what I've learned about myself is I prefer when it's a little bit more tapered something that sits a little bit closer to the hip area and then it comes into like a little bit of a bow shape so it's almost like a barrel leg and if that goes then a little bit drapey down by my feet it works with more of my shoe options and just my overall aesthetic so there are so many versions of this that you can choose right now definitely start by looking in your wardrobe because you probably have this already given that it is so popular and when you're putting on maybe your favorite sweater your favorite top take those jeans and swap them for the pair of tailored pants and you'll be surprised at just how great it looks with very little effort now shoes can really make or break your overall look and the overall aesthetic and kind of push it in one direction or another so if you're really going for this classic sophisticated kind of expensive looking vibe then going for shoes that kind of automatically fit that is a really great way to lean in that direction but what I've personally been loving lately and something that I think kind of pushes this to another level is to go for these classic silhouettes but then a little bit more unexpected maybe they're a little chunkier or there's something about them that's just a little bit off kilter and so if you're going for like a loafer maybe go for a loafer that's got a little bit of a thicker sole rather than a very sleek one and just the addition of this is enough to kind of 
balance out the look and keep it from feeling a little early 2000s sophisticated and make it 2024 sophisticated. It's a small tweak that makes a really big change. Now also within that, I love that we have so many sneaker options that we can choose from. And if you've seen some of my older videos, you'll know that I recommended to not wear sneakers and that has completely changed. There are so many styles that we can choose from now. And not only that, but the colors are really great. And before that's kind of what stopped me from incorporating them into my wardrobe. They were all too stark bright white or too black and they just didn't work with the overall color palette, but now we have so many softer shades and beautiful combinations. So find a silhouette that's comfortable and that you feel really good in and try that with your standard button down and jeans combination. And you'll be so impressed by how elevated it looks, but still very current and very down to earth in the most beautiful, sophisticated way. And my last tip to look expensive, even on a budget and get that really beautiful put together look that feels very current is to be matchy matchy with your makeup, but also keep the shades very current. There are so many beautiful ones to choose from right now and they give you that effortless kind of no makeup makeup look. And if you go back and look at like old archival Vogue photos or anything from decades past, the first thing that tends to stand out is the hair and the makeup and not so much the outfits. You can rewear a lot of those classic silhouettes even now, but if your hair and your makeup feel a little bit out of touch, then the whole thing might feel kind of imbalanced for you. So an easy way to work around that with your makeup is to choose the same shade and wear that across your whole face. So go for maybe a bronzer, put that in the socket of your eye for your eyeshadow, and then do a really neutral lip, or you can do something a little bit rosier and carry that color again throughout your whole face. And that is gonna create such a beautiful, universally flattering look that isn't gonna date and it's gonna complement all of these outfits so beautifully. Because there's something really great about the relaxed element of this and kind of this luxury that feels accessible and things that feel like, yes, you put time into your look, but you didn't spend hours doing so because you had other things to contribute, other things to do. And I just love that well-rounded approach Approach, and it's something that I'm personally leaning into myself. So I hope that these tips are helpful for you. If you'd like to see more like this, definitely let me know. I can cover this topic or any other version of this. So definitely share your um, requests in the comments down below. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.